find fun in your discipline, find fun in being diligent, but make sure the fun translate into, you know, what real life is all about. That's what sports is all about, though, you know what I mean? If, if you really take a, a, you know, take an analytical approach to sports in general, it's all about life. I mean, because if, if you're going to do a sport at a high level, it has to become, it's a lifestyle. But I mean, there's no way around it. That's why, you know, if you do choose to live a life of sports, you know, you have to understand that, you know, it's not always about fun. It's always been about business, even since you were a kid. You know, you were learning discipline and diligence and dedication to the sports since you was a child. You know what I mean? You just had a bunch of smiles around you. The older and the more evolution that you gain in the sports, the smile turns into straight-faced businessman. <laughs> As a child, developing within the sports is always just have fun. And you always say to coaches, just have fun. That's, that's, that's every coach tagline. Go out there and the most important thing I want you to do is have fun. But, you know, they say that, with you know with the undertone of remember what is remember what the big picture is all about right we have fun but remember that diligence is fun discipline is fun your assignment is fun winning is fun success is fun <laughs> you know what i mean it's not it's not like go out there and you know be willy-nilly just you know I mean just do whatever that's not that's not the point of it there's so much talent in this world. And, you know, I mean, just speaking from the international side of everything, you know, there's plenty of players over there that are great athletes. But the, the thing that keeps them behind is their football IQ. That's the difference. You know what I mean? Like, like if you ask me from, you know what I mean, getting my cup of coffee in the league and, and NCAA and whatever, it's like you have those caliber of athletes all over the world. The difference is, is I've been playing football since I was eight years old. They start playing football at 20. That's the difference. That is literally the difference. You'll find you'll find guys here in the US that run four fours, four threes, whatever the case may be. There's people in Europe that run the same thing. It's it's the same across the board. The only difference is the football IQ. And with team nations, you know, I mean, you take this into into Europe and the Ventiagla and the Austrian League and you know the X League and anywhere in the GFL. You know, and you give them an opportunity to, you know, I mean, level the playing field. You'll be surprised how many cats you you have coming out of that that international pathway, making a name for themselves in the league.